Hey fellow explorers, the Haneda Airport Garden just opened in January 2023. This is a new shopping restaurant and hotel complex in Tokyo at the airport. In this video, I'm gonna show you around. I'm gonna start here with the piano music that you hear. There's actually a piano and somebody playing it right as we enter into this complex. But I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see what I can see. All right, so to get into the airport garden, you come in off of level two from terminal three, the international terminal. It takes you across this bridge that you walk in. I'm gonna show you out this window for a little bit of perspective. If we look out this way, that's the little bridge we walked on. That's a parking structure. And that's the new hotel, Villa Fontaine, that opened here. Uh, there are a number of shops along this bridge that also connects to the main building. It is, it's really nice, it's really new. We see a shop that sells fans, there's tea shops, there's places to sit. If you have a long time before your flight, or even a long time between connections, I think this is a really great place to check out and do some shopping. But the Hotel Villa Fontaine just added 1,500 hotel rooms to Haneda International Airport. Previously, there was only one hotel at Haneda, and it was often full, so they built a new hotel and then built a number of shops and restaurants around it. And Haneda's pretty well connected into the city, so if you're wondering like, if it makes sense to stay you know, for a one or two day trip here at the airport, I actually think it does, because Haneda's a fairly close in airport as compared to Narita. This is definitely my favorite airport to go through. By the way, if you see some flickering lights, those lights actually aren't flickering. Those are just LEDs and uh, they just, you know, the, the camera here actually sees the flicker where the human eye doesn't. All right, so if we take a look at the map of this place, we just walked down this jet bridge from this bridge from Terminal 3, the main hotel here. There's a convenience store and it opens up into a big thing that has a second level down below. Of course, there's plenty of duty-free gift shops that you can get your snack shopping on, but convenience store-wise, right here, a branch of Lawson Station, one of Japanese great convenience stores, often known as konbinis. The Hotel Villa Fontaine, that's the entrance to the big hotel that you saw before. It's got a, what I'll call, normal hotel, and then a premier hotel. The premier hotel is a luxury hotel with about 150 rooms. There's another path down here to a whole bunch of these shops in the internal area. There is a little uh, Kinokuniya, not bookstore, but wine and grocery store. Known for their books, but here they've got wine and groceries. In this atrium, there are two floors. And we're gonna go ahead and walk down to the first floor. Uh, you can also get like taxis and buses out here too. There's a, this is basically like their food floor. There were a few restaurants as we were walking down, but there are a ton of restaurants here in the Oedo food hall. You can see you can get steak, you can get noodles, you can get sushi, and you can see everything that you want to get from the great Japanese plastic replica food. Don't speak Japanese, it's okay. Just point and order and it's all good. Uh, there's a few more restaurants that take you down this way. Here's a Kobe beef restaurant where you can see that aged Kobe beef right in the window. How much is it? Uh, you're gonna spend about 80 US dollars for their um, main Kobe beef course. There's cheaper options, of course, but that's the one they recommend. It had a sign that said, it is not all you can eat. We've got a um, Okonomiyaki Teppanyaki restaurant. Here they sell Japanese pancakes is what they call them, but it's basically like seafood and some veggies mixed together. Here we have Unagi. So that's a restaurant that sells eel. This is a uh, Indian restaurant. Uh, they like Indian food. In particular, this is Pakistani food. So again, th this isn't real food. This is all plastic food. So you can see exactly what you want to get. And then you can just go inside and tell them what you want. And it'll look pretty much exactly like that. There are three more restaurants going out this way. As we go up the escalator, there's Chinese restaurant Byron that sells uh, J Japanicized Chinese food. There's a tonkatsu restaurant 
that sells katsu and I can't quite see the back one that's close to the parking area. But uh, my wife, OC Girl's favorite spot is definitely the big Japanese drugstore, uh, Matsu Kyo, where you can get all sorts of Japanese makeup products in here, brightly lit. And so if you didn't find all the makeup you wanted in Tokyo, this is a good spot to look for more. Beauty Connection, which says it's still coming soon. This place just opened, so it's all nice and fresh. The Haneda Collection is a collection of various little shops. And uh, I also particularly like this Toby B2 um, souvenir shop. A great spot for little like uh, Nintendo and Yoshi products, and just like little random souvenirs that you wanna bring back from your trip to Tokyo. And uh, this says like some of the various brands that we didn't get to see here, cause like it's really quite a big place. But enough for you to know that if you come to Haneda, you should check this out. Well, fellow explorers, if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy some of my other videos on Tokyo. You'll find links here on the screen or in the description below. And as usual, I won't say goodbye, cause I'm gonna see you over there.